guys are good to go. Uh, they gentlemen's the dreamland. Oh, why do we keep putting these guys on stream? More like don't put them on streamland. And oh, Pika did us best matchup. At least they got that right. Um, I know Daniel's been trying to work on his Pikachu lately. Off to a quick start. Oh, up smash. Oh, he gets that up air. I feel like Rusty could have avoided that. Oh, good chase. Yeah, if you're going to throw out the up tilt, you got to leave yourself a little bit of time to chase to the top platform. Oh, he gets a grab. It's a quick kill. Um, no, not that quick, but very little percentage. Oh, great spacing. He reads that back air. Keeps himself away from it. Oh, good DI from Rusty, but he's still... Uh, Daniel doesn't uh, complete that combo. I don't know if... He, I think he was going for the weak nair, um, which might have worked. Could have thrown it up there too, but I'm not sure if that would have uh, maybe pushed him too far away. But two stock lead, low percentage. Daniel showing some strength in the uh, the Pika ditto. I think if uh, Rusty struggles with this matchup, he's going to go Falcon. Oh, well, you got a good read on that. Uh, Oh, Daniel, not not a great uh, zip. I think he was going for the sweet spot. Nice, I like it straight across. I think he wanted to stop short and grab the ledge, but either way, he ended up safe. <laughs> Goes for the up smash. Um, Rusty's ready to punish that with a grab. Oh, and Rusty zips into the ground too. Fortunately, he's not at that high percentage, so he can still get back, but Daniel knew exactly where he was going to go. And yeah, Rusty's... Um, got a lot of landing lag on his uh, upbeat choices, so Daniel's able to read them. He gets the forward air and still able to get the grab afterwards to get the stock. Oh, it's a nice ledge cancel between the stock. Didn't really accomplish anything, but it looked nice. Forward throw. Got him off stage. Oh, he goes for the up smash. God, Daniel is just all over Rusty. <laughs> he goes for a raw up smash. Uh, Rusty's uh, on his last leg here. Daniel, incredibly low percent, three stocks. Uh, Daniel with a convincing three stock. Uh, Daniel staying Pika. Rusty, not happy with that. About to bust out the Captain Falcon, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> and it's interesting seeing these two guys. Uh, Rusty, consider a Pikachu main. Daniel would definitely consider him a Falcon main. Uh, kind of reversing the roles here. Uh, Rusty has a lot of experience with Falcon, though. Daniel has a enough experience with Pikachu. Obviously, um, just dismantled Rusty and Pika dittos. Um, but maybe not as much experience with Pika as Rusty has with Falcon. Now, Daniel took a risk there and pushed forward with the uh, forward air into what could have been an unsafe landing. But... Uh, Rusty did not see it coming and got hit by the last hit of the forward air and Daniel was able to get a grab and a stock out of it. <coughs> really um, controlling position on the stage. Oh, I like that he went out for uh, the back air. Another risky move, but um, not really not that risky in terms of him losing a stock, just um, giving Rusty an opportunity to get back to the stage. But he hit him with the back air and Rusty wasn't able to recover. And now Daniel just all over with the grabs. And he messed up that edge guard. Um, he had a good idea, but I think Rusty is too low percentage for the walk off up air. Oh, Daniel hit him with the back end of the up air coming back onto the stage. And this game's looking just as commanding as the first one. Uh, Daniel really just has Rusty's number today. The cliche is that, you know. Falcon, either character can bring it back in this matchup. A couple uh, zero to deaths, but with the way Daniel's been playing, I don't think that uh, Rusty has it in him. All he takes is one edge guard. He goes out there for that back air again. Oh, but he gets grabbed. All he had to do was up be away. But a triple b oh, a double back air and a technically JV3. Daniel just looked dominant that set. Just completely dismantled Rusty.